between here, especially, you know, in the middle of the country, you know, in an hour or two hours or half a day, the whole course can change. Uh, you go over to Europe, uh, you got a whole different type of soil, etc. And again, the weather can change. So we make for all the different conditions, uh, just for cyclocross. Uh, we also make gravel tires and road tires, etc. Kind of using the same philosophy, but the cyclocross guys, people, are just fanatic about choosing the right tire and the right tread to go along with it and the right, you know, for all the, the conditions, the soil conditions and the weather conditions. It seems to happen every year that over the course of the three or four or five days, you have a lot of changes even within the days. We start off and we start off the season usually with the Grifo. It's over 45 years old. It's the best all around tire. Uh, works, works in best in dry hard pack where we normally start the season but we come back to it when it's frozen hard pack. So a lot of people rode on this early in the week when it's, when it's frozen, or they went with the chicane, which has got a uh, file tread with knobs on the outside, which is really when it's a little bit icy and you may have those patches, you don't want to fall down. And you have traverses where you're kind of riding down the side of the hill. These two tires were kind of the first part of the week. Uh, tonight, uh, <laughs> We're supposed to have rain through the night and through uh, collegiate finals and, and masters tomorrow. Uh, so a lot of people are coming to us for the Lemus, for the, uh, for the real mud tire. And it's got a deep tread. Uh, the Belgians rarely use this tire, but when, but when they go outside of Belgium, they go to the UK, they come to, come to the States and we have a lot of rain. This is the go-to mud tire. Uh, we have actually two tires just for sand, okay, which is crazy. Uh, the first sand tire, this is wet sand, but Stephen Hyde, who was three-time national champion, won three times with this tire in totally different conditions. Wet grass, which is slippery, uh, snow with ice, which is slippery, and then out in uh, Reno, Nevada, with hard-packed dirt, with rain on top, which is slippery. So it's, a, it's got a big file tread. Uh, you wanna run low tire pressure, so it's got a big footprint. And then it's got a, a small side knob for when you're traversing it. When you get on, on the edge, it'll still have a grab. The last tire, probably the least used in racing. This is a dry sand tire. They're like four or five tire times in, in uh, Belgium. They have these five races. If it rains, you're back over on dune. If, you, if it's dry, you don't wanna, all these other tires have knobs and you just dig straight down in the sand, which is bad. So we have a special sand tire. Um, what will be probably the key to the weekend with this rain coming in is we, the, the Lemus mud tire, will, most people will be comfortable on because it has the biggest knobs and best traction. But it's also a little bit heavy. And sometimes we'll get clogged up with the mud. If it's just a little bit of mud, it's slippery, but it's sticky, and it sticks in the tire and clogs it up, then you want to go to the baby Lemus. It's a little bit more open, so every time you hit a little piece of asphalt, which this is on a, this course is on a golf course, you hit that asphalt, boom, it cleans, this will clean the mud out quickly. So six treads just for this weekend. These are all tubulars, so this is the whole cross section. Uh, but we also offer the same tires in a tubeless system, uh, just arrived in handmade and tubeless and carries a lot of the same characteristics so that you have soft and supple, uh, so it can create the biggest tire patch and can grab the, uh, whatever the surface is that you run into. We're getting towards the end of the, the cross season and a lot of people's brains are already, well, what am I gonna be doing in two months? So we, the same people we work with for cross are coming over to the gravel side. It has two totally different characteristics from the cross. One uh, is that this is all done on soft, 
ice, snow, grass, sand, etc. And so here, super, super soft, supple, as soft as it can be. On gravel, of course, lots of times, you know, it can be round river gravel, true gravel, but lots of times it's crushed rock, which has sharp edges. So here we need more durability and lots of times the event's longer. You'll see some crossover of tread patterns. So for example, the chicane here with this mixed tread is the same as the gravel grinder over here, which is a gravel tread. The construction, we have multiple layers to deflect the rocks away and not cut. Uh, we have a more durable rubber compound. Uh, you'll run a little bit higher pressure in most cases because it's a longer race. But the other, the other opportunity with gravel is you can change the size. These are all 33 millimeters. It's governed by the U, uh, UCI, the Nash, International's governing body. Uh, but here, you, you can run all the different sizes. So, for example, the Strada Bianca is the fastest tire. We have this from 30 to 33, 36, 40, and soon 45 millimeter diameters. Um, same thing for gravel grinder. We have a, a new tread pattern and Almanzo. Don't forget the Almanzo. Oh, excuse me, here. We have a new tread pattern. This is a, a 40 millimeter called the Getaway. Uh, that was designed with our uh, Colorado Front Range based team. When they go up in the mountains, up in the Rocky Mountains, you you don't want to be sliding around corners where the alter the end of the corner could be. Whoop. Uh, so this has more tread on it. Uh, so you're always you're going to have more stability when you have a hard packed trail. Here is great when you, the rocks are are the traction. Then you can have smooth here, and then you hop on the asphalt, smooth is fast. Here you you're have, when you have mixed, mixed terrain, especially in the front tire, you wanna be able to point, shoot, and then you can slide a little bit in the rear, but you don't wanna be sliding with your front tire.